Hello friend, this is Nila and I welcome everyone to our channel Vidyanagari. First of all, I would like to thank everyone for your love and support. Now let us start our today's topic. Today we will be discussing about the Venn diagram part from the set. So what is a Venn diagram? It is a graphical or pictorial representation of sets. Let us assume two set A. This is a set of all odd number from 1 to 10 and this is the set of 2 3 5 6 so if we have to represent these two in graphically what we need to do we have to draw two circle first I will draw the circle A this is A and then B now we can see that 3 and 5 is common in both this so 3 and 5 belongs to this region and in A set we have 1 3 5 7 9 and in B we have 2 3 5 6 this is B this is a graphical representation of the two set and if we represent it in a rectangular box then it is a it is called Venn diagram and this rectangular box indicate the universal set and it stands for U now what is this reason this is the intersection of both the set that is A intersection B now let us see how to represent A union B this is a universal set and this is a this is b and this whole reason mainly is known as a union b now if we are asked to find a minus b how we have to find this this is a this is B. This is the universal set. If we are asked to find A minus B, that is, this reason is this is A and this is B. So if we remove this portion, then we will get A minus B. This is A minus B. Similarly, if we are asked to find B minus A, so this whole is B, and if we subtract this reason, we will get b minus a now based on this Venn diagram we will try to find out some formula a b if we are asked to find a union b n of a union b that is number of element in a union b how we have to find it can be done in two ways. Suppose this is A. So I can write N of A union B equal to N of A plus this is B. Plus N of b and you can see that this reason this overlapping reason has come twice so we have to subtract this reason and we all know that this reason is a intersection b so this is minus n of a intersection b this is one of the, this is an important formula you have to remember or you can find by using Venn diagram Similarly, from this figure, we can find N of A union B. Here, you can see that this reason is N of A minus B. And adding this with this reason, that is N of B minus A. And left is this portion. And we all know that this portion is A intersection B. So, we have to add N of A intersection B. In this way, we can also find 
n of a union b now for three set a b c suppose this is a this is b this is c a b c and this is the venn diagram of n of a union b union c and if we have to find the formula we have to find using this venn diagram let us see how to do this this is a so i can write this is n of a similarly i can write n of b plus n of c now for this reason i represent n of b with this green line and for c i represent this with this yellow line now you can see that this reason is overlapping so we have to subtract this reason this minus n of a this is a intersection b a intersection c sorry minus similarly we have to subtract this overlapping reason as this reason consists of both the yellow lines and green line n of b intersection c minus this region n of a intersection b now you can see that this region can be subtracted three times but we need to subtract it two times so we have to add n of a this is intersection of c set that is n of a intersection b intersection c in this way we can find this formula or you can remember this formula based on this we will try to solve this numerical it is given in the question that is a class has 175 student that is this is the whole strength of the class or we can say this is the universal set it is and given the student enroll in math is 100 that is n of m is 100 m stand for mathematics and in physics we have 70 similarly in chemistry we have 46 likewise they have given n of m intersection phi that is the student who have both math and physics is 30 who have math and chemistry 28 who have physics and chemistry 23 and who have all these three subject math physics and chemistry equal to 18 now I will draw the Venn diagram. This is math, physics, and chemistry, and this is the whole is the universal set. Now in the first question, we have to find how many students are enrolled in math only. That is, we have to find this reason only. So with the given condition, we have to find this reason. That is the student who are enrolled in math only, and that is they haven't taken any of the rest subject, that is physics and chemistry. They haven't taken the physics or chemistry. Now, students enrolled in math alone. This can be written as 
if I take the whole as n of m then I have to subtract which region I have to subtract this union part that is this part this is m intersection p similarly I have to subtract this region this is m intersection c but you can see that I have subtract this region twice so I have to add this region once and this is m intersection p intersection c so I can write this as whole of m minus n of m intersection p similarly I have to minus n of m intersection c and add, have to add this region m intersection p intersection c now n of m is 100 n of m intersection p is 30 n of m intersection c is 28 and n of m intersection p intersection c equal to 18 thus we will get 60 and in the second question we are asked to find the number of students who haven't offered any of this subject from the Venn diagram it is seen that this reason is the reason why the student take any of the subject so the reason why the student haven't offered any of this subject is this reason excluding these three circle for this first we have to find m union p union c so m union p union c we all know the formula that is this equal to n of m plus n of p plus n of c minus n of m intersection p minus n of m intersection c minus n of p intersection c and plus m intersection p intersection c this will give 100 plus 70 plus 46 minus 30 minus 28 minus 23 plus 80 all these values are given here so calculating this we will get 153 but this is this reason and we need the yellow reason so students who have not offered any of this subject equal to n of u minus n of m union p union c you can see that this is n of u minus n of m union p union c this is 175 this is 175 minus 153 equal to 22 so 22 student have not offered any of this subject so using this venn diagram i have calculated what I have given in the question with this i will end our today's lecture hope you will like this and you can find more of these videos in our playlist and do not forget to like share and subscribe to our channel which will motivate us to make more of these videos